Okay, we're back. We just uh, kind of opened up Mono Develop. Um, if you remember the last kind of part one, uh, we put together uh, the UI um, as I laid out here in this in this quick little diagram here. And so we had everything created. Now it's just a matter of, of wiring things up. Um, so what we're going to do first of all, when you take a look at the script, um, if you did the first kind of tutorials that I did for Unity, uh, you can see here that we have. Uh, these start and update uh, methods or functions uh, we're gonna just actually eliminate those we're not gonna need those for for this um, so what we're gonna actually do is we are going to um, add in new functions um, and the first one that we're gonna add in we're just gonna call it uh, public void and we're gonna call it uh, level or load level, I think is what I want. Load level. Um, and then we're going to take a string value in there, which is going to end up being um, the level name. So I'm going to name it appropriately there. Level name. And then within that, though, we're going to actually, and I lost a bracket there. Sometimes happens. Um, within this method, what we're going to actually do is we're going to actually do an application me method. So if I start typing application, I can click on that autocomplete for me and then what I want is actually the load level and you can see so it's gonna be it seems a little bit redundant I know but we're actually embedding uh, basically a function of the same name an application function there and with that um, it actually we wanted to take the same name so so you can just put level name there and it's gonna take in that same string so when it goes inside that load level obviously it's gonna run this application level uh, and it's going to take in that string value. And I'm going to show you how to basically pass uh, the level name uh, into that string value there, and then it will load that one. Um, the other one that we need um, is we need, uh, that's going to work for moving to different levels, um, but the other one that we're going to need is we're going to need um, a quit function. So I'm just going to go quit. Uh, this isn't going to take any value. This is just going to run another application level um, function. What this is going to do for us is we're going to go application and we're just going to go quit. And that's all that that does. It's just going to exit the application um, once we actually build the game and it will, it will do that for us, but it won't do that until. And so basically we have a method here and I'm just going to comment it that uh, loads levels and this one here quits game uh, you could do some logs in there but I, I know I'm confident my code is is correct and so that's gonna work as functioned without having problems there I could put in some debug log there or some console logs there but I'm gonna just leave that make sure we save that script um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to uh, now that that a script is set up we're gonna go back to unity now within unity what we want to do is we want to go here and uh, we want to um, wire this up and so let's go back to that we're on make sure we're on the scenes go to start menu uh, it's asking me if I want to save it sure uh, and from the start menu I want to go to the start button and if I scroll on down here you can see that they have, it says, uh, the on click, and it, it's empty right now. We want to add to this list here. We want our start button to actually take us to level one. And so to get to do that, we just hit the little plus button here. Now, um, and then what, where it says here, there's the object is empty. We need to drag our level manager into there. And so you just make sure you're clicked on the start button, and then click and drag and drop that in there and you can see that added level manager that that game object into there and then from here now we're gonna have access to the functions within level manager so if I go to level manager and I want it actually to load level based on a string and so now in this next button notice that there's another box that appeared here as soon as I had that and that, what that is that's gonna take in the argument and so where I want this button to take us is to level underscore zero one that's where I want it to go and so uh, I just have to enter that string in correctly and so that is done 
uh, our other button, I'm going to click on my other button, I want it to do the same kind of thing, uh, except I, I want it to do the quit function. So again, what I want to do is add a com add, quick little add here, go to level manager, drag that all the way across there, drop it in there, and then I want to select again uh, within level manager. Now we want to select quit. Okay, and so that's going to link it to there. And then again, let's just keep saving our scene up as we go. Uh, and that should kind of be it for our start menu. Now we want to do the same thing to our level one. And so I want to double click on level one, make sure level one's open up here. And that's correct. Uh, and then inside here, notice that I don't have that level manager again. Now I could just copy and paste um, that level manager, um, but I, I can just always create a new one as well. So uh, how I did that before, if you remember, was create empty level manager and then to the level manager. Now you're thinking, well, we already have the script we need, so I can just go within my scripts here and I can just drag that script in there and then it's added level manager right away to uh, or the my level manager script to my level manager uh, game object. So we have that in there. Now I can just go to my win button and then from here I'm going to scroll down. You can see that's empty again. Well, I want to grab my uh, level manager and drop that into that where it says none. So let's do that. We can drag and drop that in. Choose. Now we want we want when we click the win button we want it to go to the win screen, right? So make sure we go down to level manager. Uh, we want it to load level. And the name of our scene is just win. So I can just type that in. And then that should be good to go. Uh, I can click on the lose button uh, right here. And the lose button again is empty as well. I'm gonna click there. I'll drag my level manager down into there. Select from in, within there. Uh, I want to go to load level again because we're not quitting. And this time around, I want to go to my lose screen. And so that is just lose there. And then I want to make sure I save my scene. And then I want to move on to um, uh, we should go right to the win. Sure. Okay. And so you won again. Same kind of thing. I don't have a level manager here. Uh, this time around, let's go and copy and paste it. So let's go back to our lose for a second. Uh, make sure. I thought I actually. Oh, no. I, sorry. I need to go back to level one. And this time I can just copy. And let's go to our win. Make sure I'm on the win. And then within here, paste our level manager. This time I pasted it in. You can see I have that level manager again. Uh, now, I just need to click on my button, my play button, go on down here, we can see that's empty, we drag in my level manager, it's a little bit repetitive, but you should be getting the feel for this, uh, level manager, we want it to go to uh, load level, and this time it's the start menu we want to go back to, start menu, and then that's all there is on that one, save scene, go to our lose screen. So uh, lose screen here. I still have it probably in my clipboard, um, the level manager. So let's just paste that in. Again, I have the level manager there now. I can click on my play, play again button and add here. Click and drag, boom. And we want to load another level, level manager load level and then from there we want to go back again to start menu now there's one last thing we need to make sure we do uh, to make sure our wiring works um, I'm just gonna save project make sure I've saved everything okay it's often oftentimes a good idea to make sure you save your script within mono develop too but I'm sure I did that um, now from here um, before this will actually run for us um, and I want to get back to the start menu because that's where I'm going to start from. Um, we need to actually do update our build settings. So you need to go file and you need to go into build settings. And then from here, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to 
build for PC Mac Linux. Um, and then we need to drag in our scenes here. And so, uh, and it doesn't, you could select them all. I could go here, shift, select all my scenes, drag those in. Now, what I want to do though is I want to adjust their order. I'm gonna, I want this to go to start menu first. Pull this one down maybe. There we go. Level one, win, lose, doesn't matter the order of those two. Um, and then we can actually, we can go build and run or, or build, I'm gonna go build and run. Uh, notice I have menu system here. I don't know what I, I, why I do this. I just create a folder in there called builds. And I don't know, I'm just gonna call this build. I don't know, it'd probably be a good idea to call, call it menu system. And I need to do a quick save. Uh, and then it should build for me and then it should run too. So let's see where we're at here. Okay, so let's just go play. Um, you can see it's going to full screen there. Um, and what do we got? Menu system, okay, so let's go. What do we got? Start game. Takes us to level one. Well, do we want to win or do we want to lose? We win. Play again. Back to the start menu. Start game again. This time we lose. Play again. And you can see it works. And then I can just hit quit to exit my app application. Uh, so pretty good tutorial. Um, last thing I'm going to show you because we want to maybe reuse this. Obviously, this isn't a saved. This isn't something that uh, when you take a look at this, you're going to say, "Oh, that's uh, that's a great game." Uh, this is something we want to maybe reuse in another game, though. A uh, good start menu. Maybe we want to add some styles to it. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, though. But what we want to do is we could go to Assets, and we could go Export the Package. And we can see, do we want everything in here? Right now, I do want everything. And so make sure all. And then I want to export this. And I can save this package somewhere where I may want to reuse this. So I'm going to just save it on my documents. I'm going to okay, say Start Menu. Package and and I, then if I just save there, okay. Notice that that made a package here. That now if I was starting a new Unity project, so file, new project. Um, I'll just call it what it is there. Um, if I wanted, Unity's just going to restart as it starts this new um, project here. Now. Um, I'll just go to 2D. If I want to import that, I just go up to Assets, uh, Import Package, Custom Package, which we just made. Go to My Documents, find that Start Menu Package. I can click Open, and then it's going to let me import whatever I want from this, and I want everything, so I'm going to import. And then I'm not starting from scratch when I'm starting a, a new project. I have uh, my basic scene set up. I have my basic start menu set up and all that stuff. So uh, obviously I need to scroll out. Um, but things would be set up and working the way I want. Um, as you can see, I need to get to a level that you could actually see that and so you can believe me. Uh, but that's going to basically be it. That's uh, a way you can create a start menu, uh, turn it into a package, uh, export and import it. Uh, it should be a good start for future games. That's it.